Hello and welcome to my F122 My Team Career Mode where we are aiming to take Lamborghini to the top of Formula 1. We come into this race off the back of a fairly decent Spanish Grand Prix but we come into qualifying now, Canada, my favourite track on the Formula 1 calendar, as we come up the back straight before we get to the final chicane. We've always been very quick in Canada, we did very well here last season but we have a big wobble coming out of the chicane. We come up to the line and it's only good enough for P4 for now. But we will go again on the same set of tyres this is. But, but we just couldn't improve on the lap so we boxed and came in. We didn't finish the lap. But to the end of qualifying now and we're down again. But we have found so much time in the final corner. Just over a tenth and we will start the race p3 let's get into it we're back once again beside the st lawrence river here in montreal for the canadian grand prix the event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978 it was won by none other than Gilles villeneuve the first canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honor the circuit would be renamed it's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Yuki Tsunoda lines up on pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Brown, Russell, Sainz, Hamilton, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Verstappen, Joe, Ocon, Stroll, Gasly, Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, Fittipaldi, Albon, Sergeant, De Vries, Liam Lawson, and Sergio Perez completes our grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. So we're here on the grid then and it's going to be a one stopper for today like it seems to be at every race on this game starting on the softs going to the mediums be interesting to see if anyone does the medium to hard strategy but we'll see what happens we had a good result here last season of course me and Fittipaldi the first race we actually was beaten by Fittipaldi came here last season so we're hoping not to be beaten by a teammate this year but it is Yuki Tsunoda who's put it on pole position, which is what we like to see. It's Leclerc, P2, we're P3, and we're racing here in Canada. Leclerc has had a lot of wheel spin, and we've had been able to pounce on that as we go down the inside into the first corner. Now we try and keep it pinned round the outside of turn two. We have the Mercedes of George Russell trying to get up our inside. We fend him off. We haven't been able to get Leclerc at the start. That was my aim, so we could get hunting after Sonoda. Sonoda, though, has kept the lead in the top four. It stayed how we started. We've had a bit of a wobbler coming out of that chicane, and that's going to leave us vulnerable to the Mercedes of George Russell, who we had a very good battle with back in Spain. But now we fend him off, and we can get after Charles Leclerc as we head down at the end of lap one into the final chicane you can see as we ride on board with Leclerc now we're going to go to the inside and we swap him then down we go to the outside and now we're going to try and go round the outside and forgive us the inside line for turn two there's contact between me and Charles he will lock up and run wide and Leclerc tries to get up our inside back up our inside but he couldn't do it and we're up into P2 and now we were just hunting after our teammate but we just couldn't get close enough to have a go on Yuki and on to lap 7 this is the Alpine Pierre Gasly slowing down and is out of the Canadian Grand Prix Alpine not having the best of times so far this season but it's Yuki now who has got me breathing down his neck as we go into the final chicane We've been trying and trying to get close enough. We haven't been doing anything stupid because we're in a very good position here. But we're going to go down the inside of Yuki Sonoda into turn one. Yuki 
holds around the outside, it's like what we tried to do at the start to Charles Leclerc, he fends us off now, we're all over the back and now we're going to try and go to the outside again and we've kept it pin this time round the outside and we're through on Yuki but the gap we had behind to the Ferrari has been wiped out in our small little battle we've gone very slow for that chicane so now Yuki wants his lead back as we go side by side down the DRS straight but we took it to his slipstream and we send it late back up the inside we've gone wild and off the track track limits may have been a bit of a factor there but now Yuki we've left him vulnerable to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc who's trying to go to his outside come on Yuki keep it pin lad it's now round the outside and Sonoda has lost out to Leclerc and that is partly our fault in a way but now can he have another go at Leclerc getting back but he's actually been left defending Charles Leclerc and if you realise during that battle Duke is actually on the, the mediums so he's doing the, the, the alternative strategy to us so could he be going on to the hards? it looks like he might be but we'll see later in the race as now our tyres did start to go off a little bit and Leclerc wants to get us back after what we did to him in the opening stage of the race we can fend off though Leclerc and that's allowed Sonoda to try and get back past the Monagas as he holds it around the outside he's looking to do it to Leclerc well, Leclerc did to him and he has done it good job there Yuki and now Yuki's back on us we couldn't really get away lap 15 and Yuki has really overtaken us there our soft tyres really starting to drop off now as the mediums pace starts to come back towards Yuki now and on the end of lap 15 I thought about staying out to try and to get the tyres a bit further but last minute we are going to box as with our original strategy so I thought maybe we could gain some time and pull away or stay, stay out on the mediums so we're going to now go onto the mediums bit of a slow getaway there for some reason Max also, who was a couple of cars back has followed me into the pits as well and we are going to come out of the pits in a very, very nice gap indeed 11 seconds behind Ocon and a fairly big gap behind as Max has also gone on to the medium tyres as well then is now skip on to lap 17 this is Yuki Tsunoda who's boxing from the lead to make his one and only stop of the day and he is going on to the hard tyres but now this is the moment of truth where are we? there we are we set the fastest lap of the race as we go into turn 1 Yuki is still coming out of the pits we get out of turn 3 and Yuki has just come out and also Max Verstappen has done the undercut there to get past Leclerc and Sonoda and now we are very far up the road now lap 22, 21 we've got a three and a half second gap as Sonoda is hunting back after Max Verstappen on those hard tyres we're just managing the pace, Yuki couldn't find a way through but this time lap 24 it's taken him a lot longer than he wanted to because Max Verstappen makes a mistake and look and Yuki has pounced on it to try and go to the outside now Max tries to get the exit but he can't and we're back to a Lamborghini 1-2 here in Montreal and now on to lap 30 this is Leclerc coming at Max Verstappen those medium tyres are starting to switch off on that Red Bull but the last couple of rounds like in last time out in Spain he knew he was on for a win and this time he's getting a fairly decent result as well but that Red Bull in the first couple of races was absolutely nowhere but 
they seem to sort of themselves so out now. We'll see what happens next time in Austria. But we are going to come round the final corner to make it another win in 2024. We win the Canadian Grand Prix. So that's it then for another magnificent Canadian Grand Prix. And they have hung on to take a sublime victory here today. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? I feel consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix then, another one too for us, first one since Monaco a couple of rounds ago, good for us, Yuki coming home second to us once again, but that is one of Yuki's most convincing performances of the season apart from Monaco, very good race on his part, we just played the strategy in the end and came out on top unfortunately for him but Gasly the one and only DNF in this race a bit of a weird run we seem to be on at the minute as well in terms of the season we won in Bahrain and then had a bad result in Australia then we won in Monaco had a decent result last time out in Spain and now we've won here we seem to be on a run where we win every other race so if it carries on then we could win our own Grand Prix but one race at the time we go to Austria next we do close the gap to one point on George Russell at the top of the table. Bearing in mind after Australia we were quite far back so we do have to close that and the constructors as well as we are at 21 points behind so we're a little bit, a little bit further back on that. But Mercedes do lead the constructors from us from Ferrari. We have pulled away from Ferrari with that one too as well and of course close the gap to Mercedes. Red Bull also still fourth but I think we can now say we're in a championship fight this season. I didn't want to say it too early but I think now five races in we do seem to have the car to take it to George Russell had some great battles already this season with George so I think we can take it to him and we'll see what happens by the time we get to Las Vegas but one race at the time I think that's all we can do so I hope you enjoyed this video a great race in Canada a very interesting opening stint we had to get past Leclerc and then we were just hunting down Sonoda couldn't really find a way fast but eventually we did and then the strategy the medium to hard just wasn't the strategy today and we pulled away from Sonoda and was very comfortable in the closing stages of that race but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video we go to austria next for our first sprint race of the season i'll see you then goodbye